What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new tactic video. Today is going to be another nap release and it's a big one. This tactic scores over three and a half goals a game and picked up six trophies in one season. Let's get into it. So guys, it is Josh from FM Scout, and today we are going to be testing a special one. It's going to be from that. It's a 4-2-3-1, a little bit different from your ordinary 4-2-3-1, if I do not say so myself. It's a very special one. Let's get into the results. We're going to start the strongest to weakest team today. So, no lows have been told. It is going to be the strongest team, Manchester City, and we have come out and 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, 1-4, 1-5, nearly 1-6, but did win 6 with the Club World Cup, and this Premier Division is something to be spoken about. I mean, we only lost two games over the entire season, which is absolutely remarkable. Erling Haaland with 70 goals, which is insane. Bernardo Silva with 32 assists. Guavardio and De Bruyne with 18 and 17 to follow. Really impressive how Guavardio played this season, I will say. Erling Haaland, 8.32. De Bruyne 7.89. Bernardo Silva, 7.74. Edison picking up the most clean sheets, and I'm sure if we look at this, yeah, we've got a feature on the lot. The most points per game, most goals, over 1,000 shots. Possession, 57%. Fewest conceded at 29 and the most clean sheets coming in at 19 as well. It was absolutely remarkable. And the general performance is going to look incredible. 3.87 goals per game, only 0.76 conceded, over 26.3 shots a game, an 86% pass completion, and a tackle win ratio point shy of 78%. This tactic absolutely cooked. And that Champions League final was a special one. It was a 2 to win over bitter rivals Manchester United. A great penalty there. Now it's going to be Ake on the ball into John Stones, pushed up over the top into Bernardo Silva, back inside into Verona, who done I believe it's Haaland who gets the goal in the end. We actually did go down to 10 men as well in the 90th minute. It was a game we deserve to win against a full strength Manchester United team. Up next is going to be AZ, obviously, over in the Dutch League. We come out and put on a very good display, again, only failing to win four games, getting one draw and three losses. Then three losses coming against Ajax on the double, and obviously Herkales there. Herkales? I don't know how you say that. Oh, I'm going to butcher it. And then the draw coming in against PSV as well. The Dutch Cup is going to be also a victory going in our favour. That is going to be a 4-0 win. So quite a comfortable final, in my opinion, right there. The only disappointment, or not really disappointment, is the quarterfinals of the Europa Conference League, which, to be honest, we were not expecting to win. Fenerbahce are quite the good team. The Dutch League comes in and of course you can see the table once again but we are going to pick up 28 goals and 26. Goals are absolutely incredible really all around through the team. Assist wise 14 and 12 coming in. We're going to actually have a player in first, second and third for the highest average rating. Also picking up the most player of the matches and I'm sure the stats are going to back it up. They are. Fewest conceded at 22. We are also going to be joint with PSV both on 16 clean sheets. The fewer shots against, most shots for, still very high. Not a thousand but still higher over 700 most goals obviously we're going to dominate that and the most points per game coming in at 2.68 now going over to that wonderful general performance tab it is going to be 3.18 goals per game only 0.65 conceded over 21 shots a game and 88.3 percent pass completion and a tackle win ratio of 74.43 so not as many goals maybe as you're going to get with a team like a manchester city but still putting on beautiful display and just because we lost against Ajax a couple of times, we can beat the big teams. A 3-1 win here over PSV. And to be fair, as you can see, we got off to a very, very good start. Literally playing around pretty much everyone in that PSV team. They couldn't get anything going at all up until this moment where they do obviously get a goal after this goal right now. Martin Zindi, by the way, with one of the luckiest goals of the season. Bit of a deflection. They get a consolation right at the end. Does it matter? No. Do I care? No. Is it annoying that we give the ball away? Yes. Next up is going to be Sampdoria over in the Serie B, a team predicted, I think, to finish around about 7th to 8th. And we have come out and put on a very good display, regardless of whether it is 7th or 8th, because we only managed to lose, or not win, sorry, 7 games. We won the other 31. You know, a very good return, in my opinion, out of 38 games potential right there. And I will say right now, this is this is a league which can go either way. Palmer usually do dominate it. But as you can see, our play is put in an absolute shift. 25 goals, 22 goals to secure 2nd and 3rd. The highest average rating and the 3rd. Assist wise, it's all we're, we're literally there. Yeah, every single player of ours is in there basically 20, 14, and 12. The most clean sheets. It really is a season to remember. And again, we're going to be dominating the same stats 2.45 points a game, most goals, fewer shots against, the most shots. This stat here. He's always dominated with this tactic. We love to get shots off at goal with it. Possession-wise, quite consistent as well. 56% of the ball, fewest conceded, and also the most clean sheets. And 
I'll say it. The most clean sheets, especially, is a fair amount over a team like Palmer. It's four clean sheets, which is quite a fair few games in my eyes. Now, going over to the date hub, of course, we are going to look. It's very important. Way under a goal per game, close to three goals a game, even with a team like this. An 88% pass completion, a 78% tackle win ratio, and shots per game over 20. We can do it even with a team like this. And this is what it's going to look like against Spezia in the league. See how the tactic actually performs, shall we? Now, as you can see, we got off to a bit of a, a bit of an interesting start, shall I say, inside of about 35 minutes. And to be fair to them, they got back into the game quite well. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. It was a good finish, a good bit of way to obviously win the ball back. But what we do on this channel is we come back and we bounce back and we score free. We love to be doing that. We're going to go down the right-hand side now, back inside. Big, great bit of composure. Just taps it into the net. All the power provided from the cross. And again, it's going to be Darbo looking to exploit the left-hand side. A direct approach now in behind. Takes it round the keeper. Something you don't really see too much in this match engine. But a beautiful finish right there, nevertheless. Down the right-hand side now, absolute acres. And I'm going to do a little pause in action here. If we pause it in there, you can see the amount of players that will get forward and commit to attacks. It's really good to see. And as you can see, it works off well. And lastly, it is going to be Southampton. Now, we absolutely took over the Skybet Championship. I'll tell you that for free. Runners up in the Carabao Cup. Unfortunately, to get there is a miracle. But to beat City would have been impossible, I'd almost argue. But we put up a good fight regardless. The Championship, though, yeah, we took over. I mean, look at this, guys. Only one loss in 46 yeah, fair enough, six draws, but still, very, very good. 39 wins, points were clear, goal difference were clear. Che Adams is clear with 25 goals, Brooks with 21. Armstrong and Brooks second and third in the average rating. This guy here, by the way, little off-topic comment, get him in football manager. Absolutely incredible. Assist 16 as well, and second place with the most clean sheets, which means we're going to be tied. We are going to be tied with Leicester. 23 clean sheets, fewest conceded over Leicester, which is good to see. We love to see that. 57% of the ball, fewer shots against 900. 190 shots close to that 1000 mark most goals and the most points per game and the data hub is going to tell a beautiful story of close to three goals a game 0.72 conceders just over 21 and a half shots a game an 87 percent pass completion and a tackle win ratio coming in of 76.12 a bit of a highlight here, though, against Watford in a 6-0 stomping. A team which, you know, you, I was comfortable beating with this team, but not by six, maybe. I was not expecting that. And it's the fact how many goals we got in the first half. So this is going to be our second, just before the 36th minute. A great ball back stick into Armstrong to make it 2-0. And they go on to concede another two in this half. Shock in there from Dennis. Armstrong picks it back up. That is Stewart. Back into the middle. Into Adam Armstrong. The Armstrong confusion nearly come in right there. A very scrappy goal. We've got to take it, regardless of the situation. Larry down the left-hand side now absolute acres into Smallbone back into the middle into Stewart to make it 4-0 two more goals to come and Watford had no answer at all even in the second half they provided nothing Walker Peters into Charles touch pause engage into the top right-hand corner absolutely sublime Adam Armstrong steps up He's never going to miss. Now, of course, it's your favourite part of the video. If you are enjoying, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the FM Scout channel. If you like what I put on the channel, you can come over and check out my main channel in the description. And yeah, we do tactics, we do rebuilds, we do the whole lot. Come over and get involved. But let's talk about this wonderful tactic. So it is going to be a sweeper keeper, simply on support. The fullback on the right on take more risks and tackle harder. That's going to be exactly the same for the left-hand side because fullbacks are very important in this system. As you can imagine on this side, very important because they are going to provide the width majority of the time. And even on this side, because this inside forward is going to come inside and that fullback needs to overlap. Ball playing defender on the right on dribble more and tackle harder. Match with identical situation on the left hand side. A DM on the left in the midfield on support on take more risks, get further forwards and also tackle harder. That is going to be almost replicated, but a little bit different on the right, where we are going to go with tackle harder as the only instruction. On the right-hand side, it's going to be an inside forward on support, on hold-up ball, run from position, and tackle harder. Then we go with two attacker midfield players. The centralised one, or the more centralised out of the two, is going to be run from position and also tackle harder. And on the left, of course, to act as that winger, he is going to be on run from position, stay wider, and also tackle harder. If there's going to be one thing you change about the tactic, make sure it's not this one. If you don't have stay wider on the obviously will not play anything like a 4-2-3-1 and it simply won't work. Now going lastly, it's going to be the advanced forward on attack on tackle harder. Now I will say for anyone saying, Josh, I haven't really got two attacking midfield players. Can I just change this to a winger and play like a normal 4-2-3-1? 
Yes, you can. If you wish to do so, you haven't got two attacking midfield players, you can also use another inside forward. The instructions all based off a custom tiki tacker on the attacking mentality. We're going to go with fairly wide, pass into space, overlap left, overlap right, focus down the left and the right as well. Really good in this year's game. Shorter, a higher tempo, run at defence, and of course, the nap special, low crosses. It works, so why change it? Going over to in transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly and roll the ball out. This can go to the fullbacks, the centre backs, and of course, the playmakers in midfield. And lastly, out of possession, the much higher defensive line, the high press and line of engagement, much more often prevent short goal giving distribution, get stuck in, and also step up more. That's going to complete for you boys the 4 2 3 1. A bit different because obviously the usage of the attacking midfield player as almost that winger. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Be sure to leave the comments on what you want to see next a certain formation, a certain style. I'll try and get it done for you. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.